We've got our new hydraulic stabiliser, which we're going to be fitting to this tractor. It moves your lower link arms from left to right, meaning you can make small adjustments as and when you need to within the cab. Now, let's run through and show you how to fit it to your tractor. First things first, let's take the old hydraulic stabiliser arm off. So the way I'm doing it is I'm taking out the two pins that keep it in place. Like so. And that is the old one removed. We've got our two hydraulic hoses, which we are now going to fit to our hydraulic ram. First, what we need to do is take our two caps off of our hydraulic ram. Unscrew them like so. And then next, what we need to do is fit our hose with the right angle fitting to the back. The back is the part that fits to the tractor and then the front is the part which fits to the lower link arm. And the reason is, is so that then your pipes can come out nicely and then go on to your, into your spool valves. Make sure these are nice and tight so we don't get any hydraulic fluid leaking. And then next, we need to grab our fitting, which goes like so. Now we've fitted our two hoses, we're ready to fit our hydraulic ram to the tractor. We've got our pins that we've taken out from our original hydraulic stabiliser, and we're going to use those for our new hydraulic ram. You could fit new pins if you want to, but just for ease of use, we're going to fit the original ones. Give it some gentle persuasion. Just put in some linch pins in to secure the pins in place. Put that in there, that, like that. That's our first stabiliser arm fitted, so now you just have to repeat the same on the other side. Now, let's plug our last hose in. So, so it's the same. We'll put And just like that, that is our two hydraulic stabiliser arms now fitted. Let's jump in the cab and show you how they work. Let's get the engine on and show you how they work. We've got our spools here and we've plugged our two hydraulic arms into the brown spool and the green spool. So if we gently move this spool here, you can see our lower link arm moving left to right. And then if we get the brown one, you can see that the same as the green one, moving left and right. And it is as simple as that. And then once you've got them in place where you would like them, all you need to do is unplug them and then they will stay in place. As you can see, these are great for making life far more simpler and efficient on the farm. If you've got any questions about our hydraulic stabilizers, drop a comment down below. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.